Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to settings on your footer menu for your Shopify website. So this is going to be for you who have already set up your store and you want to change some things, for example, your footer menu because you feels like it seems empty or your footer is currently like mine and I'm going to show you in a minute what I meant. So here I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at my store. So I have my logo on the top, my navigations menu in general. I have a banner right here. I don't really want to put too much on the homepage. So I'm keeping it super simple. And then as you can see on my footer, this is all I have. It's just it's a very basic and boring type of footer. So we're going to work on that in this tutorial and I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit the footer on my Shopify website. So first, before we actually go to the navigations menu, which is this one's right here, as you can see, the footer menu is currently only have the search items on it and we don't need that. So. We're going to prepare what we're going to need for the navigations menu first, for the footer menu first. So I'm going to add several pages and those are going to be the pages that are going to be included on the footer menu. Now before I add page, I'm going to go ahead and go to the settings right here right click on it and then open it on new tab because we're going to need our settings later on. But first we're going to want to create a page and this one is going to be an about us page. Now you don't have to do it exactly like how I'm going to do it in this video. You can create a page that you feel are necessary for your footer. And I'm just going to show you how you can create the pages and then uniting it on the footer navigations menu. So here I'm just going to create the first page, which is going to be about us page. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and use the text generator. So I'm going to say simple about us introduction. Obviously you're going to want to type in a real about us for your company, but I'm just going to use the one that is going to be provided for me now and I'm going to choose sophisticated as the tone and then go ahead and generate it. All right, and then I'm going to just use this as my about us. So they already have the name of my store, which is Eyes of the Moon. And then I'm just going to leave everything as it is for now. Obviously, if you do going to use the same method like I am, you're going to want to change it so that it's going to be more professional and it's more personalized to you. Again, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And as for the theme template, it's going to be a default template. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And now that one of our pages is created, we're going to create a next page, which is going to be a privacy policy. So. For the privacy policy, I am going to go to the setting sections of my store and this is why I am opening the settings on the other tab. So you're going to want to go to this policies section and then you can see that we have the return policies and we have privacy policies terms of service, shipping policies, contact information, etc. So I am going to show you how you can get a templates policies from Shopify. All you have to do is click on this create from templates and now you have it. Obviously you're going to want to take a look at the entirety of these policies and make sure that everything is according to your shop. You can customize it even more if you want. But again, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use everything that I got as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this and insert it into this page right here, as well as the name. 
all right and then i'm going to go ahead and save it now that our privacy policies page is created we're going to create some more pages and this time it's going to be the return and refunds policy so i'm going to go ahead and copy this put it here and then ask them to create a template copy it into this text box right here and saves it and then last but not least we're going to create another page and it's going to be the terms of service and you can also add the shipping policies if you want i'm just going to stop at terms of service just so that you get the idea so again we're going to add the page copy on this text paste it on the title copy on these text and paste it on the text box and once we're done we can go ahead and click on save all right so these are the pages that we're going to put on our footer but before we go to the navigation settings i am also going to go ahead and edit this contact page right here so for the contact page you will want to add some more explanations about it for example what this contact is going to be for is it's going to be for your customer to be able to reach you out in case something's happen or is this going to be some sort of newsletter kind of form for me it's just going to be a place where my customers can reach me out so let's say i'm going to say something like having a problem with your order or just need some fashion tips drop your contact here and i'll get back to you soon so those are the example of the things that you might want to say on the contact menu and maybe i will want to change the name on the page not as contact but maybe i'm going to say reach us out some things like that and then once we're done with it we're going to go ahead and click on save all right and now we got all of the necessary pages created now we can go to the navigations menu right here and then you're going to want to edit on the footer menu so i'm also going to change the name not as a footer menu but maybe i want to name it as noah's more and then on the menu items we're not going to use the search because we don't really need it so i'm just going to go ahead and remove it and then i'm going to add a menu item and this one's going to be about us or i'm just going to search it here so this one is going to be a pages and it's going to be about us and then we're going to add some more again we go to pages and then x the next one which is privacy policy and for the order of the pages you can just setting it to however you want it to be i'm just going to order it based on the pages that's appearing so that is two out of five and then going to add the terms of surface add some more pages this time is going to be the written and the written and refunds policy but i think i'm going to rename it as just return and refund policy and last but not least it's going to be the pages for the reach us out all right so now we got the footer menu created don't forget to always save before you leave this page now that we've saved it we can now see that on the know us more or the footer menu we got some more pages added now let's see how it looks like on the website 
Now you can see that it's not appearing yet because there are some more things that you will need to do in order to make sure that the menu is going to appear right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our online store and then we're going to go ahead and right click on the customizations and open it on new tab. So here you can see that we have this footer options, but we haven't got anything on it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add block. And here you're going to want to add the menu options as the block. As you can see, now we have all of the menu that we have created appearing on the footers right here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this by clicking on the quick link. And instead of saying quick links, obviously I'm going to say know us more or maybe get to know us. I think that sounds better. And now we got the about us, privacy policies, terms of service, return and refund policies and reach us out pages shown at the bottom of our website. So let's say that you want to change the theme of your footer menu. All I have to do is again, go here. Go to the footers right here and then change the scheme. So I've been using the number four scheme. So I think I'm going to change it and there you go. Now it's all in uniform and it looks really good. And I just noticed that I don't really like the font of my website because it doesn't really match the banner that I've created on Canva. So in order to change the font, all I have to do is go to the theme settings right here, go to typography and you have some options that you can choose. You can choose the regular font as well as the uh, header font if you have so i'm just going to go ahead and change this regular here and see if they have anything that looks similar to the one that i have on my banner as you can see it's changing but i don't quite like this one yet so i'm just going to go ahead and see if i can find something more this one looks good the americana one looks good so i think i'm going to use the americana one and then click on select and for the body font i think i'm going to use the bernhardt modern yeah okay i'm going to use that one and it looks a little bit small but i think it makes it look pretty classy so i'm just going to leave it as it is and then once we're done, we're going to go ahead and click on save. And I noticed that my homepage might look like they are in uniform, but I'm not really sure about the other page. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to the other pages. So I'm going to go to here. And as you can see, the background is definitely not black but i think it is a good contrast so i'm going to leave the pages as white and then we got the footer and the header as black so now that we saved it i'm going to go ahead and reload my website and see how it looks like so this is the website home page we got the logo and then we got the banner and we got the footer that we have created. Now let's click on the pages and see if it works or not. So the About Us pages is the one that I've created with the help of AI from Shopify and it looks pretty good. And I love that I don't even have to go back to the home page in order to go to the next pages to check it out because it is a footer so it's going to show on every single page. So this one is the privacy policies. And then we got the terms of service. So 
and then we got the return and refund policy and last but not least the reaches out so here are the texts that i've created earlier having a problem with your order or just need some fashion tips drop your contact here and i'll get back to you soon and then my customer will be able to insert their name their email their phone number as well as whatever they want to say to me and let's take a look at the footer on other pages that we didn't just create it for example go to the catalog section and then maybe like this part right here this is one of the product that i have and if i scroll all the way down i get to see my footer still and that's basically it that is how you can create and edit your footer menu I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.